Managing Director of the Hathi Gold Mines Company Limited. Our Vice Principal, Mrs. Annie Margaret, teachers and students. I welcome one and all gathered here to witness the first and the grand event, the investiture ceremony of our school. It is definitely one of the most significant events for our school and also a defining moment in the student leader life too. Delegation of responsibilities is important as it teaches them lifelong skills of being powerful and caring. The investiture school investiture procession is led by our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mithrin, our chief guest, Mr. Prabhuling Kavalikati, IAS Managing Director of the Hutton Gold Mines Company Limited, followed by our wife. The scripture reading is taken from the book of 
Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 8. So then, my brothers, because of God's great mercy to us, I appeal to you, offer yourself as a living sacrifice to God, dedicated to His service and pleasing to Him. This is the true worship that you should offer. Do not conform yourself to the standards of this world, but let God transform you inwardly by a complete change of your mind. Then you will be able to know the will of God, what is good and, and is pleasing to Him and is perfect. And because of God's gracious gift to me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you should. Instead, be modest in your thinking and judge yourself according to the amount of faith that God has given you. We have many parts in the one body, and all these parts have different functions. In the same way, though we are many, we are one body in union with Christ, and we are all joined to each other as different parts of one body. So, we are to use our different gifts in accordance with the grace that God has given us. If our gift is to speak God's message, we should do it according to the faith that we have. If it is to serve, we should serve. If it is to teach, we should teach. If it is to encourage others, we should do so. Whoever shares with others should do it generously. Whoever has authority should work hard. Whoever shows kindness to others should do it cheerfully. Here ends the scripture reading. Thanks. Prayer is not asking. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at his disposition and listening to the still voice in the depths of our heart. Mrs. Gladys will now lead us in the responsive prayer. Should you join your hands, close your eyes and bow down. The response after each petition is, Hear our prayer, O God. It is a good thing to give thanks to God and sing praises to His holy name. O Heavenly Father, we thank you for the founders of this institution and the inspiring example of all who have worked here through the years. We pray that you will give us the wisdom and the path to follow in their footsteps and carry out our duties faithfully. Your response? We pray especially for these young people who have been chosen to lead the student's body. As they have dedicated themselves to the service of the school, we ask you to direct their steps and fill them with sincerity and courage. Your response? impartial and diligent in every situation. May they hold up the high ideals this institution stands for. Your response? Your prayer, O Help them to put their trust in you and draw their strength from you when they face difficulties and temptations. Your response? Your The members of the Board of Management, the principal, our teaching, administrative and maintenance staff. Grant them the wisdom to continue to serve thee faithfully. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I request our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mithrin, to welcome and introduce our chief guest for today. A very good morning to our chief guest, Mr. Prabhulim Kavalkati Thayyas. Good morning, girls. Thank you. Teachers, good morning. Today is very important day for you, isn't it? Because we have selected few leaders, captains for all of you. And they are all now young student leaders. Who knows they might become leaders of our nation also. Let us pray for that. Okay? Now, 
we have with us our chief guests i am more than delighted to welcome into our midst mr prabhulin kavlikatti ias managing director of the hatti gold mines company limited mr prabhulin belongs to the ias batch of 2013 he completed his graduation from karnataka university and secured fourth rank in state civil services conducted by kpsc and the same year he obtained the 355th rank in civil service exams conducted by kpsc and was selected for ips 355th rank in civil service exam and then he was selected for ips he started his career in mangalore as assistant commissioner and sub division magistrate where he had a unique experience of handling the major disaster of the air crash as ceo of the district disaster management authority at mangalore airport later he served in revenue health departments of government of karnataka and he also served as joint commissioner in bbmp he has a vast experience of advising the ministers including the deputy chief minister of karnataka he was designated as special officer in 2019 flood in northern karnataka he also headed the departments such as fisheries e governance and hr wing of kpcl he is currently serving as the managing director of the hatti gold mines company limited it's a government of karnataka undertaking which is the only gold producing company in the country he is a proud parent daughter miss sanidhi kavlikatti she studies in our school she is in standard 2 thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation and gracing the occasion i now call upon the girls from junior school to honor our chief guests Thank you, girls. Our young office bearers are beaming in pride. They are so happy today, as this is responsibility of leadership, as they take this leadership on their shoulders. I request all the parents to render unstinted support. We know that all are not born with leadership skills, but. few are having this kind of leadership skills based on that we have selected these leaders these little ones are our future leaders i assure you parents that we'll give them the guidance to discharge their duties congratulations to all the young leaders and god bless you next next or some next in this or some thank you thank you ma'am if your actions create a legacy that inspires others to dream more learn more do more and become more you are a leader our principal dr mrs lavanya mitrin will now present the newly appointed captains and i request our chief guest mr prabhulin kavalikatti IAS to kindly pin the badge of office for the newly elected captains I present Nishal Sara Bangera chosen to be the captain of the junior school I present 
cousin Aishwarya Patel chosen to be the games captain of junior school. I present Saibang Gupta chosen to be the vice captain of games of junior school. Junior school, please stand for the pledge. Girls, repeat the pledge after me. On our word of honor, on our word of honor, we accept, we accept, Nishal Sara Bangera as our school captain, Nishal Sara Bangera as our school captain, Aira Bairappa, Barton House, please stand. Watch it, house. 
Ellen Sauss, please stand. On our word of honor, on our word of honor, we accept, we accept, Ghana S, Ghana S, as captain of Ellen Sauss, as captain of Ellen Sauss, we promise, we promise, to be loyal, Holy House, please stand. On our word of honor. On our word of honor. We accept. We accept. Shenessa Rizal Anderson. Shenessa Rizal Anderson. As captain of Holy House. As captain of Holy House. We promise. We promise. To be loyal to our house. To be loyal to our house. And abide by the source. I present Johanny Caitlin, chosen to be the captain of Maiden House. Maiden House, please stand. Wellington House, please stand. On our word of honor, on our word of honor, we accept, we accept, Abigail Niraya, Abigail Niraya, as captain of Wellington House, as captain of Wellington House, we promise, we promise, to be loyal to our house, Walla House, please stand. On our word of honor, on our word of honor, we accept, we accept, Pearl Kenna, Pearl Kenna, as captain of Walla House, as captain of Walla House, we promise, we promise, to be loyal to our house, to be loyal to our house, and abide by its laws. 
Before you are a leader, success is all about growing yourself. But when you become a leader, success is all about growing others. I now invite our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mithrin, to lead the captains to administer the oath. Do you promise on your own honor to serve the school in loyal cooperation with the staff and other prefects of the school? I do. God be my helper. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Music is the strongest form of magic. It is the universal language of mankind and washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Where words leave off, music begins. Our young Catonians will now present a special song, Father God. Junior School, please stand. Oh. 
school and I obeyed all the rules of a prestigious institution. I shall strive hard to make a positive impact on all my fellow leaders and students. As the school captain, I realized that I will be, I will be representing the school and its values. Discipline, respect, and desire of learning shall be my motto always. I will dedicate myself to serve this great institution with utmost responsibility. I want to again thank my principal and my teachers for encouraging and guiding me. And I fold my hands in gratitude to our Lord. Nick Dextrosis, Nick Sinistrosis. Thank you, Michelle. Words make you think. Music makes you feel. A song makes you feel a thought. Our newly appointed captains will now render a special number, Leader in Me.
dignitaries on the dais, teachers, and my little friends. At the outset, I would like to thank the management for giving me the opportunity to witness this grand ceremony. I thank uh, the, especially the principal ma'am for inviting me to this function. Uh, just I want to ask you whether you need a lecture or want to uh, play some games. Games? Then you have to listen very carefully what I say. And you should do as I say. Okay? Just can you raise your right hand? And when I say one, two, three, you should do what I say. Okay? One, two, three, now. Any of you here? Okay? Any of you here? And it will be all the moves. This is all. Very good. Bridge 
come to a success story. So I told you this a small story because this shows the perseverance. Okay? How we, if we, if we uh, take up some tasks, we shouldn't be uh, leaving it apart in between. We should always try to make it successful. Right? The story was a little long, I believe. So I think you are little bored. So next, I can uh, play one more game. Yes. So the next game is called as now all of you sitting here are the leaders. Right? What leaders do? No, no, no. They, 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 they do just tell the stories. That's what leaders do. Okay. I tell you a story. But for that, all of you need to close your eyes. Imagine you are in a grocery shop and you are passing through a pickle and oranges, mangoes, especially the raw ones. And what's happening now? What's happening? Can you can you feel this saliva in your mouth? Right? Few few are saying yes, many are saying no. So I'm that 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 yes. Oh. So this is what a leader do. They create a dream and sell a dream so that his whatever his vision is implemented by the fellows, fellow amongst the public or his classmates or wherever he is a leader, he motivates this, his group and takes them along and accomplishes this task with a collective effort. That is what a leader does. Okay. So, uh, how many of you have seen or seen uh, Motu Patra? Oh, God. all of you. But I tell you a story. Which you have not seen in the television. Okay, Motu Patra, one uh, day when the school was not there, went to a. Okay, now come on. Went to a place where it was outskirts of a city or a village, and there, while uh, playing some game, Motu fell down to a well. And who is uh, left over? Patlu. Okay. And Motu is crying, Patlu, take that rope and get me up. But you know, how is Motu and how is Patlu? Okay, but still, Patlu goes to the well, edge of the well, and throws the uh, rope and asks Motu to catch hold of it. And he will grab it. And gradually, he started pulling the rope slowly putting his all effort and then finally he succeeds. That is a strange story. Even he couldn't believe, Patlu also couldn't believe. And when they went back to the village, they told this story. You know, how many believe this story? No one. No one. Right? I am talking about the villagers. Villagers, when this Motu Patlu went and told this story that well and I put it up, then most of them most of them felt that they are in life. And all the village heads went to a senior person of the village and told them, uh, see these two kids are right? And please tell them how to behave, how to be truthful. And then that task uh, this senior person asked these children and they repeat the same story. And this senior person says that, yes, yes, telling the truth. Then everybody was shocked. Then how can this lean boy can pull this uh, uh, very well went uh, boat? And that senior person says he could do that because there were none apart from these two kids, and there were no one to tell this patlu that he can't do. Okay, in such a situation, when you try to do something new, when you try to adhere into some new area where no 
Open has entered, many people say, no, you can't do that. That is the first hurdle. So, don't listen to the public who discourages you. Listen to your heart. And if you say that you can do, please listen to your heart and do it. So, there are some instances where the surroundings make you feel a little uh, nervous. But that shouldn't be the case. And I request all the kids to listen to what your mind says, what your heart says. Okay? So, that shows the second moral of the story that is the positive attitude. We should always have a positive side of the a story. There are always a negative part, but try to ignore those small uh, negative parts and always see the right part that is the positive part. Okay? And uh, I'll take one more story and I'll finish. That's okay? Uh, how many of you know Swami Vivekananda? Yeah, few of you know. So, in his uh, uh, history, if you can see, he went to the US. Okay? And he stayed there and did uh, many other uh, uh, religious works and other things. But apart from that, he used to interact with people. And then, at that time, there used to be the richest person in America called as Rockefeller. He came to he came to Vivekananda and said that uh, do you know me? And Vivekananda says that uh, well, most of these uh, his personal details he tells me. And then says, uh, but uh, you didn't tell me that I am the richest man. And he says, the richness of what you have got is not for your enjoyment. It has its worth only when it is used in a some community development or the purposes that will enhance the skill of the people. And then he just went away. Maybe after some three, four months, he comes with a newspaper in his hand and throws to Swami Vivekananda and tells him, See now, at that day, you had told me that I should use my funds for the better causes. See, almost 50% of my wealth I have donated. At least now you thank me. Then uh, Vivekananda says, Why I should thank you? You should thank me rather, because it's me who made you think in that way and that materialized into some positive development which will benefit the society. So, there are always people like your the daily personalities uh, which you will encounter, the class teacher always takes you to a right path. So, always listen to class teachers and follow the instructions sometimes. We feel that it's not so uh, conducive to you, but they always see your future and please do that. And last one sentence I would say, apart from your curricular activities, there are many other activities I know that uh, Bishop Forty is very good at it. Uh, in uh, 10 years from now, there is a, a statistic says, it's for the teachers probably, that 30% of the jobs which are going to be in 2030 are the jobs which demand skills which no one of us have to deal with. So, you know, the mobile revolution, the IT revolution, 10 years before, we couldn't know what is the, I mean, the apps and other things, but now each and every day we use it. So, I request the teachers and the management to uh, inculcate the futuristic educational approach where I know the government is little uh, slow in approaches but anyway the new educational policy has also come up but uh, I am very happy that the extracurricular activities and other things are being taken care well in this school so I request uh, all the teachers and the management to continue this thing. I thank principal and the management for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much.
Psalm chapter 103 verse 1 and 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mrs. Judy Meeker will now propose the oath of thanks. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. On behalf of our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavinia Mitrin, Vice Principal, Mrs. Annie Margaret, my dear colleagues and students, I deem it a privilege and honor to propose the vote of thanks. At the onset, I would like to thank our Lord Jesus Christ for his countless blessings bestowed on this prestigious institution and brought us thus far for 157 years of glorious existence. I would also like to express my gratitude to our chief guest, Mr. Prabhupada Kavlikati, IAS, the Managing Director of the Hathi Gold Mines. Company Limited, who in spite of his busy schedule, accepted our invitation and graced this important occasion. Sir, many thanks to you for pinning the badge of office and addressing the student body of the school council. And I'm certain that they felt on top of the world when they received their badge from a gentleman like you. Your meaningful story also truly inspired all of us. And I'm sure our newly appointed captains will always strive towards success and discharge their duties well. I would also like to thank our dear principal for her expert and able guidance and her unfailing support and cooperation. It's under your efficient leadership, dear man, that the Catonian flag is still flying very high. I wish to acknowledge the cooperation of the vice principal and the junior school teachers, without whose help and support, this grand program would not have been possible. I shall be failing in my duty if I don't offer my sincere thanks to the maintenance staff for all their assistance. Last but not the least, I extend my appreciation to all the parents for their excellent cooperation and unflinching support. Thanks once again. God bless. This is Ellen Patrick will now lead us in the closing prayer. Children, it's 413 says, I can do all things through Christ to spread his me. Let's pray for our new elected captains that God will be their strength, guide and help. Girls, join your hands, close your eyes, God of God. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We come into your awesome presence in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our newly elected captains. We surrender them into your hands. We ask you, Lord, to strengthen each captain to carry out their responsibilities dutifully and with the sense of service and humility. Bless each of them with wisdom to embrace new challenges as leaders. Help them to uphold the values of our school and to discharge their duties honestly and impartially. Bless our school, our guests, our principal, vice principal, coordinators, teachers, parents, and all the students. We commit the rest of the day into your hands. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let's time for the national anthem.
image, freezing a moment, reveals how rich reality truly is. Children, please stand. As we are going to about witness the Kodak session. 